Well, uh, Google pretty much confirmed all of my Android leaks yesterday during Google I.O. So uh, what do you say we jump over back to Apple? I mean, you didn't think I was done with exclusive stuff just yet, did you? Today, let's talk about the Apple Watch. This is the only tech news show on the internet that gives you tech news and exclusive leaks. So hit subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. The show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Since we're jumping back over onto the Apple train today, uh, don't forget about my Apple podcast. Brand new episode of Genius Bar is out right now. I'll leave a link down in the description below to YouTube, Apple Podcasts, you know the thing. But for real, we have a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's do the, the news part. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. Before we talk about Apple Watch, I show you Apple Watch Series 7. Hang in there, because I quickly, just quickly, want to talk about the Apple Music announcement that just happened. So Apple just announced lossless and high-res lossless tiers to Apple Music. And overall, this is, this is kind of a huge deal, especially when they're giving it to us at no extra cost. That is, uh, well, that's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. The only downside is, and you've probably seen everyone complaining about this online for the last couple of days, uh, those lossless audio tiers that just got announced, yep, they, they don't work. They do not work on any of your AirPods. That's right, this feature does not work with AirPods, AirPods Pro, or AirPods Max. Yeah, not even Apple's $550 high-end headphones. And that's why everyone is so upset. Apple announced a new feature that will be available in June, according to them, uh, and it doesn't work with Apple hardware. Ah, yet. I encourage everyone to stay patient. From what I've been told, there is a reason why this has been announced so weirdly. I mean, think about it. Didn't this seem kind of rushed for one the night before they sort of pre-announced that there was going to be an announcement for apple music right at the front of the app it said music is changing forever coming soon and then all of a sudden the next day they actually make the announcement of hi-fi audio tiers that don't actually work with your hardware and it's not even out now like it doesn't it doesn't even happen until june but they announced it didn't that kind of feel weird to you? Well, let's take a look at the Apple versus Epic trial that's going on right now. Remember how Apple oddly announced that third-party accessory makers could now use the Find My Network before AirTags were introduced? It's because Apple wanted to present everyone with a pseudo choice. And wait for it, because that is exactly what is happening here. On the surface, no, it doesn't look like Apple's own hardware will be able to work with their new lossless audio features right now. But even in their exact quote, they say the word currently doesn't work. But that's not because this is an Apple limitation. It's actually a Bluetooth limitation. See, the bottleneck in this whole situation is Bluetooth. Bluetooth simply cannot transmit that type of dense data wirelessly. And AirPods, they use Bluetooth. But what if they didn't? I'm being told that with a simple update at any time, Apple is working on allowing AirPods to work over AirPlay instead. With AirPlay, your device would use Bluetooth to discover the AirPods as devices, but once connected, it would then create a personal Wi-Fi connection to stream the audio between devices. And boom, just like that, AirPods are the first wireless headphones that stream lossless audio. And then once again, you are presented with a choice. Yes, you could use wired headphones from another company to stream our lossless audio, or you could buy a pair of AirPods that do it wirelessly. How convenient. And as for why they announced it right now, kind of oddly and rushed, uh, just go ahead and take a look at who was testifying at the Epic versus Apple trial uh, while this news was being reported on and argued about over the internet. Also planned to testify this week is Craig Federighi and then later on Tim Cook by the end of this week or early next. It's almost like, number one, they wanted to give you something else to distract you with, and number two, if they announce lossless audio with Apple Music and then come out and say that, yeah, AirPods work right out of the gate and they're the only wireless headphones that will work with lossless music on Apple Music, it maybe might appear anti-competitive to the courts 
during an anti-competitive lawsuit. Once you see that, it all sort of starts to click as to why they announced it right now of all times. So just give it a second, all right? It's the feature's not even out yet. Just calm down. I know it's easy to jump to conclusions and be enraged by headlines and articles online, but just wait. All right, this isn't Twitter. Your world is not Twitter. Relax, okay? Did you really think that Apple was going to announce lossless audio tiers on Apple Music and Apple hardware would never work with it? <laughs> Just everybody stay patient. It's all part of Apple's very sneaky plan. Hey, if you're a fan of this show, then you know that I talk about WeVPN a lot. It's because I really, really believe in what they're doing and because they are uh, paying me. That is also a reason, but for real, do you know how many offers I get from VPN companies all over the place and I turn them down because I want to be able to promote only one VPN to you guys and I want it to be the one that I trust. WeVPN is made by veterans in this space, a group of guys that came from those other companies to start their own. A VPN that's fast and reliable, one that protects you and your data without storing any logs, one that keeps you from being tracked or traced, and one that unlocks content from your favorite streaming services. So if you love this show and you watch it every day, go give them a try and let me know what you think. It's just $2.69 a month right now. That's 73% off. And if you use the promo code FPT at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off just for watching this show. Sure, there are other VPNs out there, but only WeVPN is a longtime supporter of this show. So go ahead, click that link down in the description to get started with WeVPN today. All right, so welcome back. Uh, here we go. You've made it to this part of the show. I'm really excited to be able to show you. I love Apple Watch, and so do a lot of people. It's not just the most popular smartwatch in the world. It's also just literally the most popular watch in the world. Fun fact, which is absolutely insane if you think about it. I mean, we've been making watches for how long? And Apple just waltzes on in and goes, is watch, but you can do this now. There's my fish. What do you think? So that's being sent now. <laughs> and boom, <laughs> most popular watch. But we haven't gotten a significant redesign for Apple Watch in a bit. In fact, I'm pretty sure there have only ever been two redesigns uh, and it had to do with the screen. The bezels shrunk and even though they last modified the design of this watch back in 2018, Gotta be honest, I think it still holds up. I think it looks great, even still. But late last year, analyst Kuo Ming Chi said that we could expect a form factor redesign to Apple Watch in 2021. That is this year. So naturally, my sources and I have been on the lookout. And here we are. Today, I'm happy to show you what to expect because here is the new <laughs> Apple Watch. Now, just as always, we made these renders based on real images. In this case, sources sent me a mixture of images as well as CAD files for this new Apple Watch design. And then I turned around and gave those to renders by Ian to make these renders for you. That way we protect the source, the location of the source, and also get to show you some really cool stuff for the first time. Everyone wins. Which, by the way, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to Ian's Twitter. I highly encourage you to go follow him and just thank him for all his hard work. It seems like every day I've been sending him uh, images of unreleased products to create renders for you for the last week or so. And he's just been doing incredible work and pulling all-nighters with me. Uh, go follow him. Like always, links to the full res images will be down in the description below. I'll leave a Google Drive link for you guys. So news websites, YouTubers, do not worry about taking awkward screenshots from this episode. In fact, please don't do it. I'm giving you access to the full res images down below. All right, so here's what I was told. Flat edges on the new design, which you know, it falls in line with exactly what Apple has been doing lately and gives Apple Watch a fresh new look without actually changing too much. The screen display will likely be the same as it has been for the last few generations, though at least from what I've heard, they have tested prototypes with even smaller bezels and more screen. We had images of the watch, not a spec sheet. So this is one of those times where 
I don't know the specs. I don't know the spec sheet. Couldn't tell you. So like, I can't tell you what new sensors are coming or what new features we'll see this year uh, with any sort of certainty. In fact, everything goes by code names behind the scenes. So this source wasn't even able to confidently say that this was Apple Watch Series 7. For all we know, this could also be Series 8. But seeing as according to Kuo Ming Chi, we are expecting a redesign in 2021. I have also heard the same thing. Uh, this sure looks like it. But also, colors. We had multiple images, but one of those images showed off a really pretty green color. From what I saw, I would say that it is similar to the green on AirPods Max. And listen, in my head, if you tell me green Apple Watch, it doesn't click. I don't think it would look good. But my God, the, what, what I saw in these renders, the green on the Apple Watch, it's like a super clean green color, and I like it a whole lot, sweet Jesus. The source was very clear though to mention that they've been working on experimental colors. So it is not locked down which color will be the featured color this year, or if the new Apple Watch will just flat out come in a variety of colors, which to me sounds like the ideal option. I mean, like that's the whole point, right? The Apple Watch is supposed to be a super personal device. So it should come in multiple colors so you get to pick which is personally more your style. But listen, if we only get one color and that one color is green, yeah, sign me up. And that's kind of it guys i mean it's a redesign to apple watch but it's nothing mind-blowing or even that surprising kind of predictable actually people have been making concept renders of the apple watch with flat sides for like a while now so for those people good job you were pretty close but you know even though it's kind of predictable and it's not that much of a huge change I do want it, I can't lie. It does look really, really good. Of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But as always, my job now is done. I gave you the information, do with it what you will. Uh, enjoy, internet.